I grew up in this community. I've been here for 60 years. I've been involved in the fire service for 43 years now. And over those many years, there have been three things that have been life-changing for us. The first was probably HIV. We had never dealt with a blood-borne pathogen that was that toxic. The second was 9-11. 9-11 brought an awareness to the public of what the fire service is really all about. And the most recent thing is COVID. When it was first talked about, we didn't really probably think that much about it. Oh, this is just another thing. It's gonna pass. Well, after a couple of months, it was not gonna pass. We've had to work through exposures here in the station. And a 14-day quarantine on a volunteer department that is short-staffed is a nightmare. It's created staffing issues that we had never had to plan for in the past. Our firehouse family is the biggest priority that we have. If we can't keep our firehouse family safe, we're not doing our job. We do whatever we have to do to make that happen. When I got notified that first responders could be immunized, uh, I made the call uh, to try to get the appointment. As firefighters, the old saying is, we're running in when everybody else is running out. Our normal response is, go fix this thing. Uh, firefighters are known as fixers. So our answer to how are we gonna keep responding to the public and not bring anything home to our families or not bring anything here back to the fire department, the answer is get your people immunized. In a small community, people look to us for answers on all kinds of things. We don't have all the answers, but more often than not, we can point them in the right direction. I look at statistics. Statistically, this is a better thing to do than not getting immunized. Obviously, we wanna protect the bulk of the population. Am I ever gonna be able to go on an EMS call again without a mask and gloves? I seriously doubt it, but that's the, the nature of the business. We have to conform to what is the safest method for the most amount of people, whether that's our employees or our patients. There's no exception to that.